welcome back everybody it's been washed tires been prepped mister how the weekend go so far good uh well i don't know how to say good but uh it was a again a, a great night yeah so, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. We ran support division Saturday night at Spoon River for the All-Star Circuit of Champions. Uh, by now, everybody knows Chris Wyndham. He runs a four-car NOS energy drink. He's originally from Canton, so he promoted the night. He was kind enough to let the Hornets run with the modified and sprint cars, so. How'd you qualify? I uh, qualified for not not too bad. No, no, we uh, that puts you starting second or outside front row of heat two. How'd that go for you? Uh, good. We had a a good a little good battle, but until um, uh, it was a uh, we're gonna say it was both. Car related and driver related. So after the finish, started second, but finished second in the heat race. Had a good side by side battle with number five, Michael Gilmore. That was a good heat race. So where did I put you starting out in the feature? Uh, low to outside. Yep, started fourth in the feature, fired uh, off fourth in the feature. We, uh, that we made very quick adjustments to, to the car yeah we did tucker asked for an adjustment on the car we did it and i i think he made the right call on it he he actually asked me to make the adjustment so that was a a big step we started fourth ran fourth had a good side-by-side -side battle for third. four or five laps with four t for third ended up sneaking by him right before the caution Started third on the restart. And then what happened? Um, well, uh, well, after the sprints and modified feature, the track did take the lever, and uh, 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 the tires were getting the tires were getting, uh, were gone, and well, not completely gone, but um, I start mm -hmm. uh. Yeah. You sound like a race car driver. He, uh, by now, have you seen the video? It's on Facebook. We've put it up here. He ran third, but it was a close third. He ran with the five and the 15 for, uh, what was it, six, seven laps. And was Got to see the old 14C number Tucker Clark on, up on the pylon in second place a couple times. That was... That was a pretty cool moment. And then Tucker took it upon himself to go down and congratulate the winner, Dave Lurston. That was pretty cool. Uh, Dave's been kicking our butt now for a couple of years, but I think it's safe to say we're getting closer. I got to thank Nick Johnson for doing the engine work on this. We were just, we didn't know any better, but Nick did some work to it. And I, you can definitely tell it helped. Did you tell the difference from where you're sitting? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so. Well, we're going to be off this weekend. Spoon's off. We're a one-track wonder this year, guys. Not even going to. We're probably not going anywhere because it's uh, heat. heat. Yeah, and we got family reunion this weekend. We're going to go say hi to family. We don't get to see a whole lot, so. Yeah, and you plan the uh, heat news. Yeah, it's going to be hot here, so. A little muggy, but. But no, we're going to spend some time with family this weekend. We'll be back in action August 5th, out of Spoon. We'll see if we can't... Four, uh, four classes will be modified, full eight, EMOD, and us. We're going to see if this kid can't put it in victory lane yet this year. We Saturday night was either his 7th or 8th, 3rd place finish. That's our career best. But we're going to see if we can do a little better here. Lord knows we're trying. He's doing really good. Said he's starting to ask for adjustments on the car. He knows what he's doing. Before we go, 
I got to give a huge shout out. My cousin, Sean Blue, Upstate Beef, Spartanburg, South Carolina. He raises Wagyu beef. He drop ships. But that's not why I'm giving him a shout out. Sean actually texted me Saturday morning and said, hey, when he goes out for heat race and feature, text me so I can watch. Well, I did. And after our heat race, Sean had actually texted me what he thought the car was in. Sean used to race himself. That's actually where we get the Clark boys with the Z. It's from my cousin, Sean. It was always blue boys racing when he raced. But Sean and I were texting along with his brother, Aaron. They were both texting us. And then David DeFrance of the track. All four of us basically saw the same thing. And it's actually pretty cool. But I've always looked up to and admired and idolized Sean. A lot of what I do racing-wise, I get from him. From back when I helped him. And I just thought that was pretty cool of him to text us and then after we ran third he texted me congratulating tucker on his third place run so just gotta say thank you to sean that was that's pretty cool and again thank you to spoon river chris windham for letting the hornets run i think my driver gained a lot of a lot of lessons saturday night they say you never lose you just learn and i think we learned quite a bit don't you uh yeah yeah so we'll definitely be better for it from here on out. Be a quick little video for this week. Set features up. We might do a little question and answer video again next week as we get prepared for August 5th show. Thank you, everybody. Our, our subscriber count's kind of low and our like count, but nah. We just want to let everybody know what it's like for a kid that's autistic race and show how he's progressing i think he took a big step forward saturday night what do you think you ready to do it again yeah still having fun yes how fun was saturday night uh it, it was a different class yeah Pretty cool feeling getting out of a race car knowing you just ran your butt off and still aggravated with third place finish, huh? So, all right, guys, we're going to keep this one short and sweet. Thank you for watching. Yep. And make sure you like the comment. Uh, well, like it, comment, and subscribe, guys. All right. See you guys. Thank you.